This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. In this video, we're going to do a comparison of text messaging plans. So here's an example. A mobile phone service offers these three text messaging plan options. Plan A, you pay $6 a month plus 10 cents per text. Plan B, $10 a month plus 2 cents per text. And Plan C, $15 a month, unlimited flat rate. So for each plan, we're going to start by just determining the cost for 20 texts per month. And then we'll decide what would be the best deal if we only did 20 texts per month. All right, so see if you can put the video on pause and figure this out on your own. Okay, so for plan A, 20 texts per month, well, how much would that be? You would have $6 up front, right? So you pay $6. And then if you have 20 texts, 10 cents each. So what would that be? 20 texts times 10 cents each would be $2. So plan A would cost you $8 that month. Keep in mind the way I got that $2, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could say what's 10 cents times 20 text. That's how I got that $2, right? You have to do the charge per text by how many texts you had. All right, what about plan B? Plan B is $10 a month, plus you have to do two cents per text. So what would be two cents per text? Two cents and you had 20 text. Hopefully you get that that's 40 cents. So I'm going to write that as 40 cents. And we add that up. That would be $10.40. Now, what if we had plan C? How much would it cost you? Well, it's $15 period. So what we're comparing here is this. It's going to cost $8 for plan A, $10.40 for plan B, $15 if we use plan C. So the best deal would be what? Plan A, best deal for 20 texts. All right. So what about if we, you know, wanted to use, we, we were a bigger user and we used 100 texts per month. So here's the same problem. What would it be for 100 texts per month? So again, you put this on pause and try it on your own first. So for plan A, again, it's going to be $6 a month. But we've got 100 texts. So let's see, 100 texts, 10 cents each. I'm going to write that over here. $100, 10 cents each, it's going to be $10. So if you, use, if you have plan A, you would pay $16 that month. Okay, what about plan B? It'd be $10 for the month, plus 100 tax, but only 2 cents per month. Or 2 times 100 is 200 cents, that's $2. So it would cost you $12 a month on plan B. And plan C is always the same, right? Plan C is just a $15 flat rate. So those are our difference amounts that we would pay depending on what plan. We'd pay 16 if we were on plan A, 12 on plan B, or $15 on plan C. What's the better plan if I happen to use 100 texts? The cheapest plan, plan B. Plan B, best option. or 100 texts. Obviously, there's something in between 20 and 100 texts where either it's exactly the same amount or approximately the same amount and where you'd want to kind of decide whether you wanted to choose plan B over plan A. Remember, plan A worked best for 20 texts and plan B best for 100 texts. 
We'll figure that out in a minute, but first let's do one more problem. Same problem. What if you'd use 300 hex a month? Which would be the best option? Well, for plan A, you'd pay your six dollars plus 300 tax times 10 cents each. Wow, that's 30 bucks. <laughs> $36 a month. I can see that's not going to be the best option because my flat rate's 15. How about plan B? You pay $10. Now, two cents a text for 300. So let's do that. So we're doing 300 times two cents. That is six dollars, so you would have, that's way better than plan A, but actually in this case, plan C is only the fifteen dollars, so that would be the best deal if I use that many texts. So here would be the different amounts, plan C is the best option. Now, obviously, if I go more than 300, plan C is still going to be the best option because plan A and B are still going to be going up in price. Let's write a model for our actual cost based on X texts. This could help us to decide which one to choose. So what's a model for the total monthly cost for X tests on plan A? Now it says in dollars. So that would be six dollars plus ten cents a text. How do you write ten cents in dollars? Point one times how many texts you have. So there's a model. That would be your cost in dollars. So for instance, when we had twenty texts, we, we actually did remember for twenty texts we did six plus point one times twenty, which was six plus two dollars, and that's how we came up with our eight dollars. So this makes sense for twenty text, but now we have a formula. You could just plug in either a hundred for X or two hundred or three hundred or fifty or whatever you want. All right, try the model model B. So here we've got the model for A. Now what would you do for the model for B? Oh, we've got ten dollars. That's our fixed charge here, plus two cents per text. How do you write two cents in dollars and cents? 0.02x. And how about for C? How much are you going to pay per month for X texts? Well, it doesn't matter how many texts, it's 15 bucks. So these are our three models. How much it's going to cost, depend, uh, depending on how many texts we have, how much we would pay whether we have plan A, B, or C. All right, so here are our cost models up here for plan A, B, and C per month based on X texts. So here's a question. What's the most text you should use in a given month for plan A to be the best deal? Well, we know that for a smaller number of texts, we want it to be, um, you know, we want that amount to be less than what you would pay for B, right? So the question is, 6 plus point one X, we want that to be a better deal, so it want, want it to cost less money than we would pay on this other plan. You could also put less than 15, but um, you'll get a smaller amount with this, right? So now we would have to do this problem. Now if you want, you could change everything to um, cents instead of dollars when you're figuring this part out. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it uh, with the decimals for now, but remember point 0.1 can be written as point 0.10, so I'm just going to write that as point 0.10. For this reason, I want to get my variables on one side, so I'll just subtract point 0.02x from both sides, and I just wanted to line up my um, place values, and then I'm also going to subtract 6 from both sides. Okay. When you're adding or subtracting, it doesn't change the inequality, so this gives me 0.08x is less than 4, and now you can divide that. Now, if you're not using a calculator, it's easier to change everything to um, cents. 
Um, in other words, write this as 8x is less than 400. Um, I don't like using a calculator. If you do have a calculator, you just go ahead and divide by 0.08 and you'll get your answer, which is let x is less than 50. So for under 50 texts, this will be cheaper. Or just watch what I do. I multiply both sides of the equation by 100 if I don't feel like getting out my calculator. So 100 times 0.08x is 8x and 100 times 4 is 400 and then, I don't know, that's just easier for me to think of 400 divided by 8. I just think 8 into 40 is 5 with the extra 0. So in any case, that's a less than symbol. Less than 50 text. So what's the most text you should use? Well, um, the question is, at 50 texts, you could check it out here, what would happen at 50 texts? For 50 texts, plan A, six uh, $6, right, plus 10 cents a text. So, because here's plan Plan A is right there. Six dollars plus ten cents a text, that'll be five dollars. That would give you that eleven dollars, right? And plan B would give you what? Here's plan B. That would be your ten dollars plus two cents a text. That'd be a dollar more, right? So actually that's a break-even point. So for it to be cheaper, it's really less than 50 text, but if you actually use exactly 50 text, you're okay. So since it said the best deal up here, it would just be x to the less than 50. Just wanted to point out that at 50, it's exactly the same. So our answer here is a is best deal at less than 50 text. Let's figure out the most text you should use in a given month uh, for plan B to be the best deal. We know it's going to be, you know, over 50, right? Because under 50 you would use plan A. All right, so what we're really at this point then doing is comparing plan B and C. We want plan B to be cheaper. So the cost for plan B is 10 plus 0.02x and we want that to be cheaper in the $15 plan. So we can just subtract 10 from both sides. Yeah, that's 0.02x equals 5. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by 100. So, But you could do this with a calculator if you want. So if I multiply both sides by 100, I'm going to get 2x is less, oops, it's supposed to be a less than symbol right here, not equal. 2x is less than 500, so x is less than 250 texts. So what this is telling me, once I'm at 250 texts, I think that'll be the break-even point, you could check that out. More than 250 texts, you may as well go with plan um, C. So our question here is really the best deal for plan B would be between 50 and 250. We already determined that. But the question is, what's the most text you should use? So for plan B to be the best deal, um, it would be less than 250 texts. And, of course, you know, under 500, we're going to use plan A. I didn't really ask that. She says, what's the most text you should use? So the most you should use is really 250 text. And we'll just verify plan B for 250 text, not text is the 10 plus 0.02, so it's 
plus two cents, that would be five dollars more, fifteen dollars. So if we used exactly 250 texts, we would be okay, right? Still be 15. Once we're at 251, it's going to be over that $15. All right. So I hope you learned something. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.